Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Rosalba, a writer of children's books and illustrator uh, in the UK. Today, what I'm going to talk about is about when things go wrong. In my opinion, one of my favorite scenes of my fourth book um, has gone wrong. And I'd like to show you as to why I think it has gone wrong. And um, so if you come closer, I hope that you're going to be able to see that in this scene, the colors are very muted, uh, very dull. Uh, the light doesn't go through, shine through or come through the colors um, on top or on the layers that go on top of the original layer or the original wash and uh, I'm just I just really feel it it's too too dark too um, it just doesn't really grab I feel um, you know the the public anyone who looks at that would think oh that's a bit um, too dark and um, difficult really to see what's going on. What I was trying to do was to uh, paint a night scene or a very early in the morning scene. These two characters have been traveling in the night to get to a specific place and they can finally see the place where from where they are standing and um, and they look in the distance and then this little creature here um, sees where he's going to be going. I won't, I'm not telling you much about him because he's quite a special character and um, and then hopefully at some point you will see in the book uh, what he can do, what he really is like uh, because it's about what he is that is the main um, uh, plot in the story. So um, I don't think the problem is in terms of perspective because they're standing in the distance quite uh, um, at the uh, foreground of the painting and then the perspective points towards a point in the distance in three, three dimensions. So I think perspective-wise it's fine. Uh, however, I wasn't sure what was going on wrong. So uh, on Mother's Day I was very lucky to be gifted this lovely book by my son. It's by D uh, DK and it's watercolour techniques for artists and illustrators. It says discover how to paint landscapes, people, still lives and more and more. Develop your own style guided by professionals. So I began to have a look as to why, perhaps, what was wrong with my painting. And, um, and here it talks about adjusting the tonal value. So it says that if I uh, darken in the colour by adding dark to the pure colour, uh, then uh, when the colour is darkened, its tonal value is lowered. And it shows example. And here it says lighting in a color, in watercolor, um, rather than adding white to lighten a color, as with other paints, water is used to produce a graduation of strength of color or saturation. And it shows example. Well, this is one of the things why I think I went terribly wrong because uh, I was, I could see that it was really dark. And I thought, oh, well, I'm going to add something on top. So I had never used pastels in my life, but I had some pastels which were in the line around in the house. And I put them in my studio, what I call my studio, my lovely den. And I began to add, trying to add some kind of, you know, light. Uh, I put some, some yellows and... Um, and, and so on and I just thought oh well this is going to do it and and I even went to put some dark pastels 
in between the spikes of the stars around the moon. I then went on with more watercolour washes of different, to different tones and I put everywhere and it's just, I feel I made it even worse. Uh, but I think the original problem was that this was one of the first paintings I did, one of the first scenes I did for my book. I had this amazing scene in my head, I thought I'm going to do it, I'm going to go ahead and I had been listening uh, or watching YouTube channels about how amazing Daniel Smith watercolour uh, was and I wanted to experiment. Well, I decided to mix some colours and I thought, oh great, brilliant and I just began to, to paint and I think that was a big mistake because it says here again in this lovely book that one of the things I must do is think about colour harmony beforehand, before I even start painting. So I, I should have chosen a, a colour palette before um, I even started. Right, sorry about that. Um, the camera stopped working for a moment, but we are back now. So, as I was saying, um, yes, um, it looks muddy. This painting looks muddy. The light doesn't reflect. And unlike if we come over here, um, unlike these other paintings, um, the light, you know, you can see the light coming through the washes of colour, all the layers. And, uh, and you can see, you have already seen this before. I'm not showing my other paintings because I don't want to give away too much. But here, again, I was leaning towards uh, moving to a different uh, colour palette. And however, it worked. It worked. Uh, I was trying to depict the, this cloud a bit like a slide when he's coming down from the clouds. But it worked, I feel that it worked there. But generally, there is a, a similar color palette. And I did that sort of by instinct really, by getting to realize how the color, uh, how color work, you know, colors work. How you should really keep it within the same palette. Uh, but because this was my first painting, the first painting that I did uh, on um, for this book, it just turned out muddy. Also, the problem is that um, I have not painted a night scene before at all. So I have struggled with this, partly because, uh, as you know, I'm not trained uh, to do this. And in this palette, Paints Grey has like a blue, bluish who into it. Um, so I thought, well, if I, many artists on YouTube advise to do the night sky with Paints Grey, but I thought if I put Paints Grey in the sky to depict the night, and I wanted to at the same time show that the sun was rising here with, by applying yellow colors, I thought, well, blue and yellow will turn the sky into green, so I must not do that. So I jumped with the purple and mixed some purples because I thought, oh, purple shouldn't affect the yellow colour. So in that sense, I get the sense that it worked. It looks lovely here, but um, I felt that here then perhaps some of the scenery had to pick some of the purple or the way I mix these colours turn out a bit purpley. And in the end, the layers were far too dark. I didn't let any light come through and it just looks really muddy. <laughs> and instead of um, stopping or starting again, I decided to add more and more and just make it even worse. I do not regret doing this because that's how you learn. So, um, 
Anyway, so this is my experience. Um, I need to do some more research, perhaps watch more YouTube channels as to how, um, you know, how to achieve this, how to achieve a night scene where the characters, perhaps they need to go darker and the scene lighter, perhaps just uh, represent them as silhouettes in the darkness, in the dark. I'm not sure. If you have any ideas, please uh, leave them in the comment box below. I would be grateful. Um, in the meantime, I shall do some research. Um, by the way, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel and you know, uh, give me a like if you enjoy this. And, um, and anyway, it's the, the Easter holidays in the UK and this is how I'm going to be spending my Easter holiday. Uh, I hope that you have something lovely planned and that you're able to see family and friends in parks safely. Um, and um, and I'll see you soon and I'll show you what I will have achieved. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.